Hey everyone, this is Sept, and today I have a quick announcement. I've been browsing for pens a lot recently, and one sub I've been really looking for is a sub for the Super Lucky Cap, or a Superior Dual Brush sub. The funny thing is there are so many Super Tip copies out there, they're even really short ones, so I thought there must be a cap that's big enough to hold a Signo Tip. I've been really hesitant to buy these off-brand Super Tip type markers, but I finally found some that work. The first sub I found were Smarkers, and they have really nice hollowed out caps. They don't have the little tabs inside of them, and they're pretty much just as long as a Super Tip cap. And they look a lot like Super Tip caps. So on my first inspection, I thought these might actually work for the Super Lucky, so I decided to go ahead and buy them. They're pretty cheap, and they also have a 16 pack that comes in a lot of colors. So if you want different color combinations for your Super Lucky, or you want to have like light blue, light blue, or yellow, yellow, or something like that, like a whole yellow Super Lucky, you guys can just buy these caps in the 16 pack. But the 8 pack already comes with a lot of colors. They don't have light blue or pink, but this does have a decent amount of colors. The first thing I will note about Smarkers is that the signal tips drop through the cap. And as you can see here, this is where the signal tip is, where the light stops shining through. It stops right there. And here the signal tip stops at about 2.9 centimeters, so it goes through the cap pretty far. It will stick out a bit if you do cut it somewhere around here, but it definitely stops right here, and that's pretty far in the cap. So the nice thing about Smarkers is that the caps are the same length as Super Tip caps, so you will have to cut these down in order to use them for the Super Lucky. So if you want to use Smarkers to make a Super Lucky, you're going to have to cut down the cap, to 4.2 centimeters. And this measurement comes from Coffee Lucky himself. He said that the superior dual brush caps are 4.2 centimeters. And I will say if you want to use a pipe cutter to cut the caps, the signal tip will actually have a hard time fitting in because the cap is actually gonna close in on itself and it's gonna become really tight. So your signal tip won't fit. So what you're gonna have to do is because it will be a little bit smaller, you're gonna have to stretch it back out using the back side of a Signo DX. So you're gonna go ahead and rotate it a bit and it will stretch the cap back out so you can put the Signo tip back in. And once you cut the cap, you're gonna have to wrap your Signo tip in a whole lot of tape because these caps are really, really big and the fit is really loose. So you're gonna have to wrap the Signo tip in a lot of tape and then you're gonna push in your Signo tip all the way until there's only seven millimeters sticking out. And then I'll tell you again that this measurement is straight from Coffee Lucky. So this is his original measurement. So this is how far his signal tip sticks out in his original mod. And as for the caps fitting on the body, you're gonna have to wrap the body in a whole lot of tape in order for the caps to fit, cause the cap fit is really loose. And the one main problem is that the back side, the cap has a hard time fitting. So these marker caps don't fit on the back side of super tips really well. They kind of have a hard time going over. And you could honestly try to stretch these caps on the back of a Sharpie or something or on another barrel that's thicker. But the problem is I don't know how far these caps can stretch before breaking. So I don't really recommend it, but if you do want to stretch them out, you can use a Sharpie to stretch it. And as you can see here, now the cap fits a little better because I stretched it out a bit. And I do recommend stretching it a bit so it has a better fit. But I just want to say be really careful because I don't know how far you can stretch it until it cracks. So just stretch it a little bit so you can put it on the body and it has a better fit. And the other super lucky cap sub that I found was the Scholastic Super Tips. And they're pretty much just a super tip copy. And they look kind of like thin super tips because these smarker caps fit really easily on the back side of these. So I'm assuming this is probably just a thin super tip or something similar. But these caps are a little bit shorter than the Smarkers. And it's probably just like a millimeter or less than that. But they're a little bit different. And the diameter on the inside might slightly be bigger. I'm not entirely sure. But these are also really good subs and they're a bit cheaper. So you can get these at Office Depot. And if you really want to make a super lucky, you can use these. I'm pretty sure someone must have seen these already. Because these are pretty common. Smarkers I think are new, but these Scholastic Super Tips are pretty common. But if you guys really want to make a Super Lucky like this one right here, I would really recommend getting these Scholastic Super Tips because these are really common. They don't come in very many colors. Most of the colors are here. There's like black, red, pink. There's no light blue. Uh, there's an orange and yellow 
And that's kind of it. There's like a brown on the inside. And that's pretty much it. It's not very many colors. So if you really want more colors, I would say just get a pack of Smarkers. But if you just want something cheap so you can just make a Super Lucky, I would recommend getting these Super Tips. So if you live in the United States and you really want to make a Super Lucky, it's super easy. Just buy a pack of Smarkers, cut the caps to 4.2 centimeters, and you're good to go. Anyway, that's it for this video. As always, this is Sept. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.